hi guys welcome back to Kamara La today I'm gonna finally do the get to know me tag and I have a few questions that I picked out that will probably help you get to know me better after at the end of this video let's get started so my name is Saida my full name is Saida Said Hariz Kamara my nickname used to be Saida when I was younger okay Okay, and my current nickname is Mom. Okay. Let's just keep it a hundred. How old am I? I'm 28, but I'm turning 29 this year. Funny thing is, I never remember my age. I always have to count backwards. So I'm like, how old am I? Three. Ah, girl. I'm 28. I'm gonna be 29. I don't really remember my age most of the time because it really doesn't bother you're me. You're 28, Mom. You're 28. Okay. And it doesn't affect anything in my life. I don't behave like my age either. I speak English and Swahili. Although, when I speak in Swahili nowadays, Nachapi Asana means like I'm always like twisting my tongue. I'm the firstborn. From my mom's uh, kids, we are six of us. I'm Saida. Then there's Salim, my brother, Amina, and then my sister. And then Arafa, the one who's studying here. And then Junia, his name is Fatih. And then Shamim. Okay, and then from my second mom, um, I have yeah. four siblings there. One girl and three boys. Irfan, Mahir, Ali, and Rumaisa. So, I don't know how many how many are those in total? Uh, five plus four. We are nine siblings. So together with me, we're ten of us. Okay, what's my marital status? I am married with two kids. So this is Sarah. I'm sure you all know her already. Sarah, say hi. Hi. Yeah, hi here. guys. Hi guys. And that's Ismail. Ismail, say hi. Hi. Ismail, say hi guys. Hi guys. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. I used to study here, but now I'm working as a HR manager. Um, I also part-time do help recruit students to Malaysia and I have a YouTube channel that's another part-time yeah. oh my hobby okay so I love sports uh, especially basketball so I love playing basketball it, I call that a hobby another one I love decorating whether it's a party, whether it's anything, I just love everything looking pretty. I love decorating. So I put, I added this bonus question because I really think that it's one thing that I, <laughs> I should definitely, you should definitely know about me. Okay, interesting fact is I can change my accent so many times that it's insane. And I, most of the time I don't really control or plan to. I don't know what is my accent. I can change accent so many times. Like you probably will hear that within time. Okay, so I got some bonus questions on Instagram and I'm gonna address those. How the first one is how is life in Malaysia? So life in Malaysia is very convenient and very comfortable. The gap between the rich and the poor is not so wide, so uh everybody can have a very comfortable life and you can access everything. So life is good in Malaysia, yeah. however, if you are staying here for the long term, there is no such thing as being a Malaysian. You never have a Malaysian passport, you can never be but, a citizen. So you will always be an expat well, um, or a foreigner. Maybe you can have a permanent residency, but that's a five year renewable visa. But yes. Life in Malaysia as a doctor. Number one, I'm not a doctor, I'm a HR manager. No, but you're a doctor. You're but not a HR I wouldn't manager. know how life is like as a doctor, but li working life is okay if you're working I in an international company. Uh, I haven't worked in a local company, but. Uh, being in an international company with people from diverse backgrounds it's very welcoming and very comfortable because everyone just re like respects and uh, values each other's culture okay. hell no girl like i said it's very convenient here and everything is affordable you can get anything you, from every price range if you want expensive you can get if you want cheap you can get it's up to, you can get a meal from five ringgit which is what like a dollar 
culture do you like about Tanzania that you wish you could have brought to Malaysia? Yeah, it's definitely got to do with the people. The people in Tanzania are so, so humble. Like, if you just meet someone on the street, you wouldn't just call them by, excuse me, you'd call them by, like, if they're a lady, you call them a sister. If they're an elderly person, you call them a mother. If it's an elderly man, you call them a father. So people are so humble and so welcoming. And there is no such thing as what race are you in Tanzania people don't really want to know whether you go to a bank you're not gonna get a form asking you are you Arab Indian or African or others there would never be such a question because people are treated equally in Tanzania it's all about your hard work always greet each other so if you're walking and you'll see the cleaners or the security guards people will always greet each other like you just greet people just like that people are just so kind and humble oh you're driving on a street and there's something on the road or like a an obstacle people are willing to just remove it for you and help you out without expecting anything in return so people are really really nice and so humble and so open and i really miss that and i would love to see that here in malaysia but anyway still i mean there's still some other good things about malaysia i still love and enjoy um but yeah i hope that answers the question uh no because i came to do my studies here and accomplish that and um so so far no regrets uh, and everything is god planned what is it i would have told myself during my 20s um oh my god uh, probably I, say, I would say like travel i mean i did travel though um so far no i think i would i would have i think i think everything that i did do during my 20s i ended up learning from it and there was nothing so destructive so I guess yeah. I wouldn't tell anything, myself anything. I would just uh, have continued the same path. Okay, best time to visit Malaysia, I asked most people and they said December because it's not so rainy. Um, best time to visit the beaches and everything. Yeah, so yeah, December, January, February, around that time. Okay guys, so I hope, I hope that answers most of the questions. Let's tell us what you like to see more of. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I know you're watching. Make sure you subscribe. And leave a comment below. Let us know if you like this video. Um, if you have more other questions. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so someone asked me. Guys, guys. Yeah, that's why this channel is called Kamal. Yeah. Shush, shush. Okay, wait.